electric cars are saving the planet? Think again. They're advertised as zero emissions, but that's a load of crap. Let's cut through the bullshit and see why these green machines are anything but green. Let's talk about how these electric cars are made. Spoiler alert, it's not pretty. First off, making an electric car, especially that big battery, pumps out a ton of CO2. More than a third of the car's lifetime emissions come just from production. Yep, before it even hits the road, it's already screwed up the environment. When an electric car rolls off the production line, it's already responsible for over 25,000 pounds of CO2 emissions. Now, compare that to a regular car, which is about 16,000 pounds. So, before your shiny new Tesla even leaves the factory, it's already got a bigger carbon footprint than a conventional car. Not so green now, huh? And it's not just about the CO2. The whole process of mining these metals is dirty and destructive. The batteries of electric cars need lithium and cobalt. These metals are mined in places like Congo, where kids as young as six work in slave-like conditions, digging cobalt out of the ground with their bare hands. That's right, child labor and modern day slavery. All this so you can feel good about driving clean, but wait, it gets better. Once we've ripped these precious metals out of the ground, they usually get shipped around the world, usually to places like China for refining, then shipped back to be put into cars. Each of these trips adds a hefty carbon footprint. So next time someone brags about their zero emission electric car, just remember, before it even hits the road, it's already done a hell of a lot of damage. All right, so now you've got your electric car, it's time to charge it up and save the planet, right? Well, hold on to your hats, folks, because here comes the kicker. Where do you think that electricity comes from? Unicorn farts? Nope, it's often from good old-fashioned coal. As green venture capitalist Vinod Kozla puts it, electric cars are coal-powered cars. Sounds crazy, but it's true. In the US, a big chunk of our electricity still comes from burning coal. So when you plug in your Tesla, you might as well be filling it up with fossil fuels. Let's get into some numbers. The most popular electric car, the Nissan LEAF, over a 90,000 mile lifetime, will emit 31 metric tons of CO2. How about a comparable Mercedes CDI A160? Just three tons more. And our beloved Tesla? It cranks out about 44 tons of CO2 in its lifetime. That's only five tons less than an Audi A7 Quattro. So, throughout its life, an electric car saves just three to five tons of CO2 compared to a regular car. Big whoop. Want more? In Europe, on its European trading system, it currently costs $7 to cut one ton of CO2. So, the entire climate benefit of an electric car is worth about $35. Meanwhile, the U.S. government offers electric car buyers a subsidy of up to $7,500. Paying $7,500 for something worth $35. What the actual f All right, let's talk about the health impact of our so-called green electric cars. You might think you're doing your lungs a favor by driving electric, but the reality might make you choke, literally. Here's the deal. Coal power plants, which generate a lot of the electricity for our beloved EVs, spew out some nasty stuff. Sure, your electric car doesn't have a tailpipe belching out smoke, but the power plant sure as hell does. And guess what? That pollution isn't just hanging out at the power plant, it's traveling right back to us. New research shows that coal power actually pollutes more than gasoline cars. Yeah, you heard that right. Imagine if we had 10% more gasoline cars on the road in 2024, we'd get 870 extra deaths from air pollution. Now, imagine 10% more electric cars, powered by the average U.S. electricity mix. That's 1,617 extra deaths each year from the extra pollution. That's almost twice as many people kicking the bucket. How's that for a health benefit? And it doesn't stop there. Those pollutants from coal-fired power plants include some real nasty stuff like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides, which can cause everything from asthma to heart disease. So, while you might feel good about driving a clean, electric car, the truth is you're just shifting the pollution somewhere else and making it worse. Oh, and let's not forget about the folks living near these coal plants. They get hit hardest, breathing in all that crap every day. So, while city dwellers might think they're dodging the pollution bullet, they're just passing it on to someone else. Talk about a raw deal. So, while electric car owners might cruise around feeling all virtuous, the reality is they're driving coal-powered cars that cut almost no CO2, cost taxpayers a fortune, and surprisingly, generate more air pollution than traditional gasoline cars. How's that for a green illusion? All right, so we've trashed the production and electricity myths. Now, let's tackle the biggest fairy tale of all. Renewables are going to save the day and make electric cars super green. Yeah, right. Let's burst that bubble with some cold, hard facts. Right now, the U.S. gets about 14% of its electricity from renewables. That's it. And in 15 years, that number is expected to go up to, drumroll please, 
17%. Wow, a whole 3% increase in 15 freaking years. Meanwhile, fossil fuels, which generate 65% of our electricity today, will still be pumping out about 64% of it in 2040. So much for a green takeover. And here's where it gets really funny. People love to say, but renewables are getting cheaper and better every year. Sure, they're improving, but at a snail's pace. We're nowhere near having enough renewable energy to power all those electric cars. It's like trying to fill a swimming pool with a teaspoon. Even if we ramp up renewables like crazy, they still face massive challenges. Solar panels and wind turbines take up huge amounts of space and can only generate power when the sun's shining or the wind's blowing. No sun, no power, no wind, you're out of luck. Oh, and let's not forget the environmental impact of making solar panels and wind turbines. Mining for materials, manufacturing processes, and transportation, all of these add to the carbon Carbon footprint. It's like trying to clean your house by shoving all the dirt under the rug. Out of sight, out of mind, but the mess is still there. Bottom line, until we figure out how to get more than a tiny fraction of our power from renewables, electric cars are just running on fossil fuels with a fancy PR makeover. Time to wake up from the renewable fantasy, folks. All right, let's talk about money. You know, that thing we're all trying to save while saving the planet. Here's the brutal economic reality of electric cars. They're not just a drain on the environment, they're also a massive drain on your wallet. First, let's talk about the actual cost of owning an electric car. Sure, you save on gas, but those savings get eaten up by other expenses. Electric cars are still more expensive upfront than their gas-guzzling counterparts. And don't even get me started on battery replacements. Those bad boys aren't cheap and they don't last forever. Here's another fun fact. While electric cars are supposed to be cheaper to run, the cost of electricity isn't exactly peanuts. Depending on where you live, charging your car can add a hefty chunk to your electric bill. Plus, the infrastructure to support all these electric cars isn't free. It requires massive investments, and guess who's footing the bill? Yep, you and me, the taxpayers. Those billions in federal and state grants, loans, and tax write-offs don't just go to car buyers. They go straight to the pockets of battery and electric car makers. So, while you're patting yourself on the back for going green, companies are laughing all the way to the bank. They're getting rich off your eco-guilt. Then there's the resale value. Electric cars depreciate faster than a lead balloon, batteries degrade over time, and replacing them costs a fortune. So, your shiny new electric car could end up being a money pit. Picture this, you buy a car for $40,000, and a few years later, it's worth less than your neighbor's old gas guzzler. Ouch. Let's not forget the economic impact on jobs. Traditional car manufacturing employs a ton of people. Electric cars have fewer moving parts, which means fewer jobs in manufacturing, maintenance, and repairs. So, while you're driving around in your green car, your mechanic might be out of a job. Electric cars aren't just an environmental con, they're an economic disaster waiting to happen. We're paying through the nose for minimal climate benefits, lining the pockets of big companies, and potentially wrecking our own financial future, all while feeling like we're saving the planet. How's that for economic reality? And there you have it. Electric cars, the supposed saviors of our planet, aren't quite the heroes they're cracked up to be. From the dirty production process, the coal-powered electricity they run on, to the surprising health impacts, and the insane economic costs. It's clear we've been sold a green fantasy. We're tearing up ecosystems, relying on child labor, and racking up a carbon footprint that's anything but zero emissions, and all this while draining taxpayer dollars for minimal benefit. It's a harsh reality check, but one we need to face. Remember, not everything that glitters is gold, and not every electric car is green. A petrol-powered car over 90,000 miles creates only 24% more CO2 than a similar-sized electric vehicle run on electricity produced from natural gas. So, yeah, electric cars create less CO2 overall, but considering everything else, it's a really deal. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm a new channel, and creating videos like this takes a lot of time and money. The only thing I ask in return is that you subscribe to my channel. Your support will give me the motivation to make more videos like this. Let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, keep questioning and don't buy into the hype. Peace out.